ahead and hit the record button. And how we're going to do this class today is through the chat window. Um, if you have any questions about anything you see, any of the streaming TV services that we're talking about, feel free to type them into the little chat box. I've set the settings just to have everyone remain muted with cameras off, just so we can kind of keep things flowing and organized a little bit. It's a little tougher to do that in these virtual environments. Um, I hope to be back in person again one day soon with you all. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that at, at once we can do that. So um, again, if you have questions, just use the little chat function. Um, if you're on a desktop computer, that's going to be the little um, chat bubble that's at the bottom of the Zoom window that you can point to with your mouse. And if you're on mobile, there should be a little chat bubble as well that you can. I see there's a couple people that are on an iPhone and an iPad in the participants panel. So you should have a little bubble that says chat on it if you'd like to type in questions as well. So, okay, you are all here today. Um, likely because you saw the notice um, or one of the notices that Direct Link is going to be discontinuing our video services at the end of January next year, right? And of course, you want to learn about how you can continue to watch your favorite shows and movies, the best way to do that, and for the best price possible, of course. And that's why we're here to kind of give you some resources, help you find an option that would be good for you, your preferences, your situation with your family at home. So our goal today is to get you to kind of think about some of the things that are important to you when you're watching TV and to talk about just a few of the options that our team feels are a good place to start if you've had our easy video or our IPTV traditional service in the past. So each of the services we're going to talk about today are unique in their own way and some are similar to others and some are different. Some may offer different amounts of DVR storage. Some might have different local channels or sports channels. Um, some may not have some of the channels you want. So it's important to do some of the research in addition to what we're going to talk about today. And of course, that's what we're here to help you do. So the plan is to talk about mainly four services, um, Philo, Sling TV, Fubo TV, and Direct TV Stream. Now, the four of these services are ones that we all feel are good options for our members that, again, have had our TV service in the past. Again, feel free to ask any questions that you have in that chat there, and I'll work to either answer them here live on um, the video, or Marcus or I will respond to you um, in the chat as well. So um, currently, I am on the directlink.coop website, and I'm on the streaming TV page right here. And I'm going to go over the different pages that we've put together to help you kind of um, put together some resources and figure out what it is that you that you need from TV, what you want from your TV service, and then help you make a decision uh, based on those things. So um, let's jump in and talk about Philo really quick. So Philo is a great service for those that are kind of budget conscious, right? Um, let me get to my notes here real quick. So as I scroll down, we're going to get into some of the details. And you can see here, Philo is just 25 bucks a month. This is a very affordable option, but keep in mind that it's going to have a little bit of um, limited um, things for channels, local channels and sports. It's really not meant to be a, uh, a local channels or a sports centric type of service. Uh, it's going to have mostly entertainment and lifestyle type of channels on here. So you can see here, I scrolled down a little bit and these are a list of the channels that are available on Philo. So just one of the options, if you're somebody who doesn't necessarily watch a lot of the local channels, you don't necessarily care if you have the K2, KGW, Coin, KPTV, those type of channels, um, then this might be a good option for you if you see some channels on here that you like. Again, not good for locals or sports channels, but it's just 25 bucks. Um, you've got unlimited DVR storage with Philo and it keeps in your library for one year. So you can record as much as you want for up to a year and then it'll uh, reset your DVR library and you can start over again. It's simple with a few add-ons. They have some premium movie packages you can add on here, like the Epics package and stars. So again, Philo is just a pretty simple starting point for if you're somebody who likes these channels here and doesn't really care about locals or sports channels, and it has a ton of DVR. 
So um, again, just 25 bucks a month for Philo, and they do have a free trial option going too. And that's the nice thing with most of these streaming TV services is most of them actually do have a free trial period, anywhere from seven days to two weeks, um, depends on the service. But you can actually sign up for a free trial, check it out on your preferred device. Um, and then if you don't like it, you can always cancel it without being obligated to pay their subscription fee. Now, if you do like it and you want to stick with it, just let the free trial go through and they'll, they'll charge the credit card that's on file. But keep in mind that in order to activate a free trial, you're going to have to put in credit card information for that service. And then if you don't cancel it, by the time that free trial period is up, they're going to go and charge your card and then begin that initial wave of the, the initial subscription. So keep that in mind as well. So again, Philo, really great budget um, conscious service that has a good amount of channels, just not locals and sports channels. So that's a good option as well. And I wanna just jump back really quickly and sort of give um, a little bit of an explainer about streaming TV for those that might not be in the know or who haven't experienced uh, a streaming service at all just yet. So when we talk about streaming TV, we are talking about using TV with your internet connection. If you've got a direct link internet connection, you're set up to use streaming TV. This is going to be delivered to your device, whether it is an Amazon Fire TV stick, an Apple TV, a Chromecast, oftentimes gaming consoles work. You can watch these on smartphones, laptops, tablets, a bunch of different kinds of devices. So if you've got an internet connection and DirectLink's high-speed internet connection is a fantastic option to be able to sign up um, for these services and get them to your different devices, you're all set. And for any of you who've had Easy Video in the past, you've actually already been living in the streaming TV world. Easy Video was, is a streaming TV service with live TV and on-demand options too. And it's gonna work similar to a lot of these different options. All you're doing is just changing which provider that you are getting TV from. You're moving away from Easy Video or our cable TV, IPTV service, and just choosing a new TV provider like Philo, the one we just talked about. So if you've got an Amazon Fire TV stick already that you've been watching easy video on, you don't need to change anything. All you're going to be doing is using a different app other than easy video, okay? So I just like to make that clear that some of you may have already been living in the streaming TV world as well. So, awesome. Okay, let's talk about Sling TV a little bit. Sling is a good option if you're someone who kind of is looking to customize your channel lineup a little bit. And that's the nice thing with some of these streaming TV options is actually the ability to customize a little bit about what you can get in your channel lineup. We're not quite to the point, the TV industry isn't quite to the point where you can pick and choose individual channels. Um, hopefully we get there someday. I don't know if it's coming anytime soon, but Still at this point, you have to choose a subscription tier and then there are some channel add-ons available. So we'll go into that with Sling here a little bit because they do have some customization options. So Sling TV is a pretty good option for those that are budget friendly as well. They have two base tiers. I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit and show you those. They're called the orange tier and the blue tier. They're both 35 bucks a month and they offer something a little bit different. So the um, orange tier is good for entertainment and some sports type channels. We've got those listed here. And the blue channel has a little bit more of a news centric focus. So they've got Fox News Channel, NBC, CNN, a couple more on here as well. And then they actually have another plan called Orange Plus Blue, which is a little bit of a combo plan. It, it doesn't include every single channel from, or, from the individual orange and blue plan, but it has a little bit of a mix of, of sports channels, news channels, and entertainment as well. And the orange plus blue plan is 50 bucks per month, as opposed to the 35 for just one of the orange and blue. Now, what I'd like to do is show you some of the customization options that Sling TV has. So I'm going to go to their website. This is again, away from the direct link website and onto the Sling TV website. And I'm just gonna scroll down so that I can get to the um, add-ons section here to show you what sort of customization options are available. So 
for each subscription, you can actually add any number of these extras they have listed here. So just as an example, I can add on additional DVR storage and Sling TV has 50 hours of DVR included with it, or you can add 200 hours for five bucks a month. And this keeps for as long as you want until you delete it. You can also add on several channel specific packages like this one right here. It's the sports extra package. If you want this, it'll just tack on an extra $11 onto your subscription. So with this channel add on package, you get SEC network, ACC, tennis channel, MLB, ESPNU, all the ones you see here. They also have a comedy extra one where you get MTV, the Laugh Channel, Game Show Network, um, these other ones that are listed here. And as you can see, they've got a bunch of different add-on packages that are available. This is for the Sling Orange package right here. And this one's for the Sling Blue extra, or the Sling Blue package extras. You can also add on premium channel packages like Showtime, Stars, these ones that are all listed down here. And there's a whole bunch of different things that you can add on um, to your channel subscription. So kind of one of the nice things about Sling TV is that you can customize your channel lineup a little bit based on what you like. Um, Sling TV does include um, some local channels through uh, an antenna. You can actually use an antenna and integrate it right into the Sling TV interface as well. Um, so that's something to think about as well. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna check the chat and see if we've got any questions come in at this point. Again, feel free to type any questions you guys might have in the chat and we'll work to answer them. We're gonna move on to Fubo TV, which is a really great service if you want local channels and you want regional sports networks, as well as a lot of other sports networks, Fubo TV does have Root Sports, which is the new home of the Portland Trailblazers, the Seattle Mariners, the Kraken, the newly formed NHL team, and it has Timbers games, Sounders, and some other Pacific Northwest teams coverage on that channel as well. So Fubo TV has Root Sports, and it has um, local channels as well. One caveat to the local channels on Fubo TV is that it only has the national ABC feed for channel two. It, it doesn't carry the, the K2 local channel feed for whatever reason. It's some sort of contract negotiation that they have in place with ABC. They just haven't been able to get the K2 feed on there. Um, so these are the channels that are available in the base channel package. And that's gonna start at 65 bucks a month. So it's a little more expensive than the Sling TV and the Philo interface that we've talked about but you're gonna get a lot more channel variety here on the Fubo TV service, including a more robust local channel package as well. So let's go ahead and I wanna show you some of the add-ons that you can add with Fubo TV as well. So we're gonna to go to their website real quick. Fubo TV does have a free trial period. I believe it's 14 days actually. So you've got two weeks to check out the service and if you don't like it, you can cancel it. So right here, this is fubotv.com. If you scroll down, this is pulling my location from my browser. So this is the Portland area channels that you'll see here, telling me there's 229 channels available in your area. Um, as you can see, it's just got ABC, not K2, but it has COIN, Fox 12, KGW, Root Sports. And um, I don't believe that Fubo TV has the OPB feed. Um, from PBS. However, there is a little bit of a workaround for OPB if that's a channel that you want. Now, if you're using a Fire Stick or even a, a smart TV, many of these different devices allow you to download apps like, you know, any of the apps that we've talked about so far or Netflix, uh, Hulu, which we'll talk about in a moment. But just as a little workaround for if you're, maybe you want Fubo TV, but you want to make sure you got OPB too, you can actually download the PBS video app for free. And it's got the local OPB broadcast network um, airing on the PBS video app for free. Doesn't cost you anything to download it or to view the content. The only, excuse me, the only thing is that you're just gonna have to switch over to the PBS video app when you wanna watch OPB content. It's a couple of clicks, it's a little more work, but it's free. You don't have to pay for that content. And PBS actually has a premium model. I, I forget what it's called, but it's for OPB members or, or uh, contributors. 
So all you have to do is just donate five, up to five bucks or a minimum of five bucks a month, excuse me, and you can get access to the PBS videos premium service, which has um, more stuff, more movies and shows that are available to watch on demand and some other things that you can access in the app too. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that little bit um, for OPB channel because it's actually only available on a couple of the services. Um, uh, quite a few of them haven't picked up PBS yet to air it into their interface just at this point. So um, back to Fubo TV and the channel availability. So it says here I've got 229 channels available in, in this area and this will be the same for you guys too since this is pulling the, the Portland area and the um, our coverage areas channels. You can break it out into sports. You see they got root sports here. Um, as I mentioned, entertainment and news channels available. And then as I scroll down a little bit more, I can actually compare the channel tiers that they have. And if you've had TV service before, you're familiar with these subscription tiers. And as I increase my tier, I'm going to get more features and more channel, more channels generally. Now, just as an example, the difference here between the, the starter, their base tier and the pro tier is that on the starter one, you only get 250 hours of DVR space, still a good amount, but the pro one has a thousand hours of DVR space. And on the starter one, you can watch on up to three screens at once versus the pro one, you can watch on up to 10. So pretty big difference if you're someone, maybe you've got a TV in the living room, maybe you've got one in the, the garage or the shop, and then you've got one in a couple bedrooms. It might be a good idea to think about how many TVs you're gonna be watching um, your content on at one time. And I see Marcus just put in the chat that that premium service I was mentioning is called PBS Passport. So thank you, Marcus. Okay, real quick, I'm going to click this button right here, the browse all available plans button, because I want to show you some of the add on options they have because again, Fubo TV is really great service for sports fans. Um, and they have some other add on options as well. So um, you can add on some cloud DVR storage if you'd like. So maybe you just want the starter plan, um, but you want the thousand hours of the uh, DVR storage. But it wouldn't make much sense to do that since Pro is only five bucks more than the starter plan. So that's why it's good to kind of get on here and comp compare and contrast the prices and the features. They have, just like Sling TV, um, you can add on, and uh, Philo had this as well, but you can add on some premium movie channels. Um, but then Fubo TV has a ton of different sports networks that you can add on for just an extra 11 bucks a month. Um, so this one, you get NFL Red Zone, you get the Pac-12 networks, SEC network, MLB, NHL, Tennis Channel, ESPN News, all these ones you see here as part of this package. You can integrate the NBA League Pass into the Fubo TV service. This one is called Fubo Extra, and it has a bunch of different channels in here, including the Game Show Network, Science, Pac-12 Network, um, so a different array of channels in this one right here, and that's an extra eight bucks a month. And as I scroll down, you can see that they even have international sports channels you can add there if you're an international sports fan. Some outdoor channels like the Outdoor Channel, aptly named, the Sportsman Channel, Outside TV, and some more. And then they also have a sports light package that's a couple bucks cheaper than that other sports extra package I showed you that has these ones that are all listed right here. Um, they even have um, some uh, different language packages that you can add on as well. So Fubo TV, again, uh, a really solid service. Um, if you are looking to uh, get some local channels, get our regional sports networks like Pac-12 and Root Sports, um, really the only caveat for the local channels is you're going to have to use a different app to get OPB at this point. But other than that, Ubo TV is a pretty good option for an all around service um, as well. So that's Fubo TV. Let's go ahead and jump into our next one that we'll talk about, and that is Direct TV Stream. Similar to Direct TV Satellite, but this is their streaming TV service that again runs over your direct link high speed internet connection and not their satellite service. So if you sign up for this, you won't have to get a satellite dish installed on your home or anything like that. You can use this on your existing Fire TV stick or other streaming device if you have one. So Direct TV Stream is going to start out around the same price point as Fubo, $69.99 a month. Um, and a lot of the same similarities as Fubo TV, um, just a couple of differences. So their DVR is much, much lower. They include 20 hours with every package and you can upgrade to unlimited DVR for an extra 10 bucks a month. So 
Um, 20 hours versus unlimited is quite a big difference. Um, if that's important to you, it's gonna cost you an extra 10 bucks a month to get extended DVR space. Um, and one of the nice things about DirecTV is they actually have a dedicated box and remote that's specific to this service. So if you're someone that's had our IPTV, our traditional TV service in the past, or if you even have it right now, you've got a remote that you're used to. It's got buttons on it, it's got the guide button, it's got the back button to where you can um, go back and, and do those different things like you're used to. And this really does the same thing. It's not like a fire stick remote where you only have a couple buttons. This one is specific to the direct TV service. So if you want to go to channel six, just hit the number six on the remote and it'll take you there. If you want to open the guide, just press the guide button and it'll take you right there. Uh, and it also has the Google Voice Assistant built right into the remote. So you just hold down the button, tell it to change the channel, tell it to record a show, and it'll do it for you. So the Google Voice Assistant is a really nice integration into this as well. And how this box works is when you sign up for the DirecTV service, um, you can choose to get this box if you want to. It's a rent to own option. So you pay five bucks a month until you've paid it off, which is $120, so 24 months or you can just pay the 120 upfront and the box is yours to keep. Now, when I say this box is specific to the DirecTV service, um, it can also do some other things. You can use any of these other services we've talked about today on this box as well. You can also download Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, Spotify, Pandora, YouTube, all those other services that you might've used in the past, you can use on this box too. However, when you press any of those buttons on the remote that comes with it, like the numbers or the guide button, that's specific to the live TV service, direct TV stream. So again, a really, really good option. If you like that traditional sort of experience, you like the remote with the numbers on it and the button specific to the service itself, this would be a good option for you. Plus something even better, they'll come out and install it for you as well when you sign up, if you get the box. So if you're somebody who just wants to buy it, have somebody else install it, this is a really good option as well. Okay, so um, let's take a look at some of the channels and the features that are available on DirecTV Stream. First of all, DirecTV Stream does have OPB on it. They just added it as of October 5th. So it's just been a couple months since they added the um, OPB. It does have Root Sports as well, so and, and local channels. So DirecTV Stream is also a really strong, um, really good uh, option if you want local channels and sports channels. So let's go ahead and take a look at the channels that they've got on here, or some of them. So again, this is on the DirecTV Stream website. And if I go to their channel lineup page, there's two tabs I can choose, the national channels and then the regional channels. And what it's going to do is ask me to input my zip code. So I'm going to do 97013 for Canby. I don't know why it pulls up Clackamas. I guess that must be the county, perhaps. I'm not sure. Still the same channels anyways. So you can see they've got our local channel feeds, K2, KGW, Coin, KPDX, and KPTV, as well as Root Sports. Uh, OPB isn't listed here in the local channels for whatever reason, but um, I checked and it, it does have the OPB feed on there as well. And then if I go back over here to the national tab, I can actually break out into each of these packages, which, um, which one has the channels that I'm looking for. So they've broken it out into these genres here. So if I were to pick news and information, just as an example, it's gonna have a little grid here that shows me which packages have those channels with this little green check mark. So just as an example, BBC World News right here is not available until you until the ultimate package. That's their third subscription tier here. And if it has this little blue uh, price tag on it right here, that means this channel is available in an add-on package. So keep that in mind if you're looking for specific channels. Maybe I do entertainment and music here. So again, um, let's see which one's maybe not available until a couple later. Um, Destination America right here, not available in these first two channel tiers. So this is a good tool to use just to make sure if there's a certain channel or a group of channels that you want, you'll wanna look at this and make sure that you're picking the channel tier that's right for you. Okay, and now also I just wanna show you what it looks like if you pick one and see what sorts of things you can do to customize it. So what I just clicked was the shop now button for the choice channel tier. 
just because I want to show you what it looks like once you've chosen that and what sort of things you can add on to it once it loads here in just a second, perhaps. Sorry guys, this doesn't want to load for me right now. Well, anyways, once you have chosen one of these options, it's going to ask you if you want to add on that unlimited DVR, like I mentioned earlier, it's an extra 10 bucks a month. It's going to ask you if you want to integrate um, any premium movie channel networks in there or sports add-ons that they've got. And then you'll just hit the checkout button. You can choose if you want the DirecTV stream box, like I mentioned as well. So um, that is the DirecTV interface in a nutshell. So I wanted to talk about a couple more ways to stream. So we've been talking about live TV only at this point, but there are some streaming TV services out there that are just specific for on-demand content. Now you might already actually have one or more of these subscriptions right now. This includes things like Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, Disney Plus, HBO Max, a couple more of these things. Um, and these are going to be much, much cheaper than a live TV subscription. I see a comment or a question just came in. I'm gonna address real quick. Is there a contract with Direct TV Stream? Um, good question. Um, I should have addressed this earlier and that's um, that none of these services so far that we've talked about require you to sign a contract. So you can sign up if you decide you don't like it a couple of months down the line or I even know some people that will sign up for a certain service during certain times of the year for sports, for an ex for example, and then they'll cancel it uh, once that season's over because they don't need it anymore. They were getting it just for that one period, for that one team or for that one sport. So just to answer the question, no, you don't have to sign a contract with any of these. You can, uh, they're all month to month and you can cancel them when you like. Great question. Okay. So we were talking about these on-demand services, the Netflixes, the Hulus, the Prime Videos. Now, these are not going to have live content on them. This is going to be strictly on demand, meaning you can watch it when you want. Whenever you decide, you don't have to um, add it to your DVR and watch it later. You don't have to time it to make sure you're there live. These are just available to watch. And most of these have thousands and thousands of TV shows and movies available to watch on there. Um, and most of them, um, if not all of them, have... Uh, platform specific shows like there's Netflix original shows and movies, Hulu original shows, things like that as well, um, that they're always pumping out and always advertising. And these are going to generally cost anywhere from seven to 15 to 20 ish dollars a month, depending on which one you go with. Most of them have free trials available again, so you can check them out. If you don't like them, you don't have to continue the subscription. These are going to be much, much cheaper. Again, they're just not going to have live TV. No local channels, none of the sports channels and live sports, just strictly on-demand content. So, but again, maybe you're somebody who you, you really only watch a lot of on-demand content. You record stuff and you watch it later. So maybe it's worth thinking about if one of these might be better than a live TV service. And if it is, you're going to be saving anywhere from 50 to 80 bucks a month. So keep that in mind as well when you're trying to think about a, a TV service to get. Okay, I'd also like to talk about some free streaming TV services that are out there. These do exist. Oh, I went to the wrong page here. I'll get to those real quick. Here they are. Um, so these are actually what are known as FAST services, and that stands for Free Ad Supported TV. All these services that are listed right here, Pluto, Tubi TV, Crackle, Peacock TV, Stir, and there's even others out there as well. We just have a couple of them listed on the website. These are all free. You can download the app, scroll through their list of programs. Some of them even have traditional TV guides like you've seen with other services, and you can watch stuff for free that's on there. Now, oftentimes they rotate out content a lot. Some of them have very limited content libraries in there but it is free. You're just going to have to watch ads, sometimes very frequently, sometimes not as frequently. But I would just encourage you to check these out if you're interested. I've used Pluto, Tubi, and Crackle myself all, 
Um, and just a quick little tip, if you have a Fire TV stick, this is a nice little way to use that Fire TV stick, or even if you have something that has the Google Voice Assistant in it, if you've ever searched for a movie or a TV show and then clicked the um, other ways to watch button, sometimes I've even found movies searching for it that way that say, oh, it's available to watch on Pluto or Crackle, which is available for free. So rather than rent that movie for a couple bucks or um, pick a service based on some of the shows on there, it's, it's worth it to check out some of these free services and see if there's anything good on there that you might like to watch. This might not be the best option for kind of a long-term uh, TV service. If you're someone who likes to you know, watch the news on a daily basis or watch different sports, these aren't gonna be the best choice for you, but they are out there and they are available and um, we figured it was worth um, talking about them. So let's talk about this little tool that we've built here on the Direct Link website. This is the channel comparisons tab over here on the right side. Now you can go to each individual website for the service that you're looking at, whether it's any of the four we've talked about so far or any other ones and see which channels are on there. We've tried to make it easy for you and put it all here on one website on the direct link site. So we are aiming to update this as frequently as we can. Um, just keep in mind that a lot of these services, they make changes to their channel lineups all the time and often without notice. So we do our best to keep this as updated as we can. Um, so this is a good tool to use if you're looking for a certain channel. You can actually type it in this little search bar here. And then uh, let's just type in, um, you know, Animal Planet, just as an example. It'll narrow it down. And you can see here that the green check mark shows it's available in these ones right here. And I want to find one. Okay. And then if it's... Um, if it's got a blue plus signal right here, that means it's available, but you're gonna have to add it on or it's available in a higher subscription tier on that service too. So if it's got a green check mark, it's available in their base tier. And if it's got a blue plus sign, it's available in a higher tier or in an add-on package. So this is a useful little tool, at least we hope it's a useful tool to um, search out any channels you might be looking for and see which of these streaming TV services that that channel is available on. Now, a couple more notes about streaming TV and internet speed. So in order to run one high definition video stream, that's TV, uh, your content to one television, to one screen, whether that's your laptop, uh, your phone, or your smart TV, or a TV that has a fire stick hooked up to it, uh, in order to get a single HD stream, it's gonna require about five to seven megabits per second of download speed. Now that might not seem like a lot, but think about all the other things that you're doing on the internet at the same time on your home Wi-Fi network. You've likely got other smartphones hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Maybe you've got ring doorbells or other security systems. Maybe you've got kids that are playing online games. Maybe you've got um, other computers and things like that that are running and have auto updates. And even if it's not on, if it's not running, it's still connected to your Wi-Fi and it's making things happen in the background. So just keep that in mind when you think about using a streaming TV service, we want you to have the best experience possible. And you may need a higher internet speed than you currently have in order to get a quality HD signal to your television, to your screens. So the best way to figure out if you need more internet speed is to just call into the local member services team, ask them if the speed that you have is right for your needs. They can talk you through some of the different things that um, you can do on the internet. So if you're doing a bunch of different things, like I mentioned earlier, um, you might not have the internet speed that's right for you, but just call into the local member services team if that's a concern for you and they can help you make that decision as well. I see a question that just came in. Um, can you give us some more information on Dish TV, the pros and cons of it? Really great, really great question, Ruby, um, excuse me. So just a, a real quick note. So Dish TV is actually satellite technology and everything that we're talking about right now is streaming TV, meaning over the internet. So Dish TV is a great option as well if you're looking for it. We actually have a specific page on the website for it right here, this Dish TV tab. Um, it is available and there is a special promo going on right now where if you call into the member services team, talk about what sort of channels and things you want, um, they can also 
get you set up with a hundred dollar gift card if you sign up for Dish TV. So um, I'm not going to go too deep into Dish TV right now, just because we're specifically talking about um, streaming TV at this point. But we do we will have some Zoom calls like this um, for Dish TV specifically coming up in the next few weeks and months. So um, we will be talking more about Dish TV, but I highly would encourage you to go to this page right here on the Direct Link website, the Dish TV page, and check out um, some of the information there. Call into the member services team. They'd be happy to chat with you about it as well. But we will be doing a Zoom call um, about Dish TV in the coming weeks. So just watch for that as well. Good question. Okay, so um, we talked about some of the internet speed requirements for a high quality streaming TV experience. We talked about a few of the available services that we think are great places to start. Keep in mind again that a lot of these services do a free trial, so feel free to download them onto your Fire Stick or use your laptop, your smartphone, um, any other of those compatible devices and try a free trial, see if you like it. Um, just remember, if you don't wanna continue with your subscription to cancel it before that free trial period is up or else they will charge your card and begin that subscription. So just keep that in mind. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that um, I kind of mentioned this earlier, but all these services we've talked about, um, all their channel lineups, features, and prices, they're not set by direct link. We have no control over the features, the channels, their prices that they set. These are all separate companies from Direct Link, and we don't control any of uh, any of their pricing, their features, anything like that. They're subject to change um, at any time. So just make sure that if you have a, a specific question or you want to see up-to-date pricing and channel lineups, um, always the best place to check is on those company-specific websites. Like I said earlier, we do our best to try and keep this website as updated as we can. But sometimes um, they make a change that we don't know about right away, and our website might not reflect that change right away. So again, just keep in mind that the prices, channel lineups, and features are subject to change um, on those companies' time frame. So um, do we have any more questions about any of the streaming TV services so far? Um, does anybody have one that they're maybe leaning toward at this point? Feel free to type them in the chat. I see one here. Uh, this is this is a good um, question here, and yeah, this is a situation that's going on. Um, the question is: I was going to, uh, I was going with YouTube TV, but I just read that um, four million users will lose their ESPN, ABC, uh, Fox, and Disney owned channels. Is there a package that that has all that YouTube TV has? Um, good question. Yeah, this is one of the realities of the TV industry: um, is that the content providers. The, the channels themselves, like Disney, like you said, um, they go through contract negotiations with these different service providers, these TV providers, right? Sometimes they don't come to an agreement and the content providers pull the channels. And that's what's going on with YouTube TV at this point. Um, this has even happened with Direct Link in the past where some of these content providers want to charge a ton of extra money for the same exact channels that they've been supplying for years. And most of the time, the TV providers um, don't want to budge. They don't want to raise their prices for their members, understandably. And this is sort of the way the TV industry is going, is that the costs for content from these network owners is going to continue to rise. And that's one of the main reasons that Direct Link was forced to discontinue our TV services. And that's why we're here today, to try and help you to get onto a different one. But um, just to answer your question, is there a package that has all that YouTube TV has? I don't know that answer specifically. Um, I would take a look at the YouTube TV channel lineup on there. I, I believe YouTube TV actually only has one tier um, and it's like 65, 70 channels, something like that. Well, a few, few less now with this Disney deal going through or not going through. Um, but I would encourage you just to go on the YouTube TV website um, we even have tried to break it out a little bit here um, on this channel lookup page. We've got YouTube TV listed in this little row right here, so you can see which channels are available on YouTube TV um, and then compare them to the other ones as well. So I'd encourage you to use this tool, but again, for the most up-to-date info, um, you can go to the YouTube TV uh, website as well. So good question. That's a little bit of a glimpse into the intricacies of the TV contract negotiations industry. Yeah. Are there any other questions about some of the stuff that we've talked about so far?
thank you guys for your questions and thanks for sticking around with us. Okay. I don't see any more questions coming in immediately. I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds if anybody's typing right at the moment. I don't wanna cut anybody off from asking a question. Um, but just once again, to go over this, if you go to the directlink.coop homepage, we've got a big old banner right here on the front, need help with streaming TV. Go ahead and click right there and it'll take you right to this page that we were just going over. We have um, tried to put together a little bit of a, um, a guiding journey to sort of help you make a decision based on what you like to watch. So just as an example, this little tile here, it says sports fan, try Fubo TV. We talked about how Fubo TV is a really great sports focused service. Want something that's budget friendly? Check out Philo. That was the first one we talked about that's only 25 bucks a month. No local channels and no sports channels, but it's cheap, has great DVR features, um, and it has a lot of entertainment and um, lifestyle type channels. So this website, we hope, is a good tool to use. You can look at the individual services that we talked about today, explore some on-demand and other live TV options like we talked about, and then you can also use this channel comparison tool to see which services have the channels that you want. So I haven't seen any questions come in. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and conclude our meeting and say thank you guys so much for joining us. Again, watch your email. Um, for additional tutorials that we're going to be doing in the future. We've also got a um, somewhere here, we've got a little tab on this same page that has upcoming streaming TV tutorials. Our next one is currently scheduled for January 20th. So stay tuned for some more of this coming up in the future as well. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to call your local member services team. Um, they'd be more than happy to chat with you and talk about what it is that you want, what you need, and to help find the best solution for you. So um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the meeting and just say thank you guys all so much for joining us and stay tuned for the next time. So thank you guys. Much appreciated.